In this video, I will show you a simple trick for downgrading macOS Sonoma to macOS Ventura without erasing your hard drive or creating a bootable USB drive. Hello friends and welcome back to MZ Learning. Friends upgrading a Mac operating system is so simple, but downgrading can be tricky. For downgrading your macOS, you need to download the full installer, create a bootable USB drive, back up your data, erase your hard drive, and then fresh install your required Mac operating system. Oh, it's so much work. But recently, I downgrade my Mac operating system directly from macOS Sonoma to macOS Ventura, and I show you how. First, let me show you that I am currently on macOS Sonoma, version 23A5286i. So let's downgrade this Mac from macOS Sonoma to macOS Ventura. First, open the Disk Utility app. Disk Utility app is located in the Utilities folder of your Applications folder. When it opens, go to the View menu and select Show All Devices. From the left sidebar, select the container disk of your hard drive and click on the plus button to add a new APFS volume on your hard drive. Choose a name for your new APFS volume and hit the Add button. Once you've added the new volume, click the Done button and close the Disk Utility app. The second step is to download the full installer of macOS Ventura. The simplest way for that is to go to the Apple support site and from here, click on the macOS Ventura link. This will open the App Store and redirect you to the macOS Ventura download page. Click on the Get button. Your software update section will open and you can download the macOS Ventura installer. This process will download macOS installer into your application folder. When the process is complete, your macOS installer will open automatically. Before I go any further, I want you to see that I am still on macOS Sonoma. If I click on the More Info section, you can clearly see the version number of macOS Sonoma. And here is the funny part. I don't know if it's a bug or Apple changed its policy, but now I can directly install macOS Ventura on my Mac. And I show you how. Click on the Continue button. Accept the macOS terms and conditions. Select your newly created APFS volume and click on the Continue button. Type your admin password, and boom! macOS Ventura has started installing on my Mac. This process will take some time, depending on your hardware configuration. macOS Ventura is installing on my Mac, while I am still on macOS Sonoma. It was not possible before, and if it's not a bug, then believe me, it's a super handy feature, especially for beginners. Anyway, I will fast forward this process to save your time. Now you can see, the first step of the installation is complete without any error. Restart your Mac. After restarting, the second installation process will begin. During this process, your computer will restart a few times which is normal, so please don't worry. The entire process is automatic, so please relax. After some time, macOS Ventura will be installed on your Mac. After installing macOS Ventura on your Mac, open the Disk Utility app again. This is my macOS Ventura volume. And this is my macOS Sonoma volume. First, transfer all of your data from the macOS Sonoma to macOS Ventura volume, then delete the macOS Sonoma volume. For deleting, select the macOS Sonoma volume and click on the minus button, then click on delete button. And that's all. I want to keep both, so that's why I click on the cancel button. So guys, this is how I downgraded my Mac operating system, from Sonoma to Ventura, without losing any data, or wiping the SSD. I hope that Apple will maintain this feature in the future, assuming it is not a glitch. If this method doesn't work for you, please use this method which is not only Apple recommended, but also works 110%. The link is in the video description. For more Mac related videos, please subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching, have a nice day.